Yo, Sports Life and Hip Hop, Ricky Sway. Yo, Zeke. Yo, we are with Bosses Link Business Center. Uh, we got my man, good friend of mine, Von Zell Scott. What's the word, man? Chicago, stand up, South Side's finest. Uh, big, he's an actor, does all types. Tell people some of the things you've done. Uh, I did Chicago Fire, The Shy, some independent films. Um, just been, you know, hitting it hard on the, in Chicago. We got a lot of questions for uh, this uh, young gentleman. Uh, we're going to know how he got into the acting scene. Uh, life story life, coming up. You know, it, it, what, what about, has he got a love scene he got in the next <laughs> movie? Stuff like that, you know. How is he going to react? What's going on, everybody? My name is Von Zell Scott. I'm here at the Sports Life Hip Hop Podcast. We're having an amazing show. Make sure y'all check it out. Talking about my life and uh, acting, my career, my come up. Make sure y'all check it out. It can inspire you one day. Let's go. We always ask this question first and foremost. You're from the South Side, correct? South Side, Chicago. You see, you see the hat. You see the hat. God bless you. Oh, God bless oh okay. Side, all right, shit, shit, red. All right. Uh, do you dislike West Siders? I don't dislike West Siders, but <laughs> but, I, but, but but there's a but. but. I, you know that ain't that ain't. That oh, we ain't got West Siders in the building. We got West Siders in the building. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got one. We got one over here. We got one. I ain't gonna say. So no you name. don't just like Westside, okay? What is the beef? Yeah, it was good yeah. Yeah. South Side and Westside. It just what we is, just two different. Two because totally you never asked. Worlds. You never asked. Do they dislike people from the East Side, of Chicago, or North Side? Uh, the East Side is still kind of south. <laughs> to me, the West Side. Everybody just different out there. Like when they, I go out to the West Side, everybody outside just doing some. It's just the people who they dress different, <laughs> they talk different. They ain't got, they ain't got no grass. They don't have no grass. Like, <laughs> like y'all just. I don't know what's yeah, wrong with y'all. Yeah. They, they, they dress, dress different part, too, right? Yeah, they dress, they dress uh, different. It's, it's a whole different world when I go out. There. And, and and the directions is kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know what Jackson and, <laughs> and what and and. and I don't even know the street. Like, <laughs> how, do, how do I know where I'm going? Lake. lake that's all you got to right. do is lake. <laughs> lake and what, what's another? Roosevelt? I, I yeah. Get, yes. Roosevelt, Roosevelt, right. Roosevelt, yeah. lake. Those are the only yeah. streets I know. So you would not date a woman from the West Side? I would not date a woman from the West Side. Oh, wow. I am so sorry. Wow. The, I would not date a woman from the West Side. Wow. One, I'm not driving to the West Side. Just go kick it with you. You're going to have to come out. <laughs> oh, so you got real beef with West Side for real. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That sounds like some real beef. Yeah, All right. So I, yeah, I can't do it. All right, well, so you talking to a chick, you feeling it, and you find out she's from the west side, you're going to... I'm going to dead it. I'm going to dead it. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. I'm, I'm really, I'm dead it. Like, you, wow. Yeah, wow. It. Yeah, I, I, I can't do it. Well, before you started the beef with the <laughs> west side, you, you was on the south side, you grew up on the south side. Roseland? Roseland, West Pullman. Same, you know, same okay. area. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Grew up, pulled yourself up by the bootstraps and... Uh, Definitely. You know, you went to Brother Rice. Yes, sir. Uh, very, very prestigious high school. Yes, sir. For those that don't know, um, what made you become an actor? Like, what inspired you? Uh, you know what? So this was back in 20, 2012. I was, <laughs> I was working at the Horseshoe Casino mm -hmm. as a uh, valet attendant. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a lot of tips. <laughs> a lot of tips, uh, but. I couldn't. I couldn't stand where I was working at. I ain't know. You know, it was just horrible for me. This is, um, this is the moment. Yeah, and I had like a, I had a, like a <laughs> self reflection. Yeah, yeah, like, what am I? Is. What am I doing with my life? Like, <laughs> what, what really? What's really going on right now? Mm -hmm. um, and I, I thought back to when I was with my dad because my dad he works behind the scenes as a writer and production designer. Oh, mm -hmm. the gene. Oh, so you're already, oh, already. You got, the, had, gene. You got already, the gene. Yeah, I was already in it. The so, gene is there. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, I already knew I was a very outgoing type of person, mm -hmm. and I just, just said one day, let me just try to get on screen and try to get into the acting in industry itself. Mm -hmm. So I looked online. I was like, how to how to become an actor? And then I started. <laughs> I swear, I swear. I, I that's how I started. Like I really looked online. I was like, how to become an actor? So I'm like, all right. I started doing background work for like TV shows, Chicago mm -hmm. Fire, okay. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I was in background for like six months mm -hmm. just to learn like how like they work. Like as a character in. The just no, in no, the no, back no. This was background as an extra. Oh, I started, I started wow. as an extra. Right, right, okay. Because I wanted to learn like the language they used on set, mm -hmm. how they were. Like, just I wanted to like you know figure it out before I actually trained how to become a, a actual actor. Mm -hmm. That's commendable. So, yeah, so I, I got into it, man, and I started doing student films, uh, not paid. You know, just a, a bunch of bad work, bad <laughs> acting. You know, you, you got to learn. You know, yeah, right, you got to you yeah. have something. Mm -hmm. Yep. So then that's when I came up, 2014. You know, uh, I signed with my agent, Hayes Talent, mm -hmm. um, and then you know started auditioning. You know it's real when you get an <laughs> agent. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. real when you get an agent. Started, started auditioning for big roles, and that's when I booked my first one on Chicago Fire in 2015. Nice. So what? before 2012, you never thought about being an actor? No. Even with your dad being in the industry? No, I never. Cause I, I, I just 
didn't have it in me. I don't know. I was being scary. By the way, by the way, we uh, we will say this. That's yeah. the gene you got. Like yeah. your dad being it. We. You yeah. I was always around it, but I just never yeah. actually took a step. He forward. never said, "Hey, you should try this." No. <laughs> nope. The gene was in him. Nope. It's, it's yeah. There. Nope. He wanted me to play baseball growing up. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, he wanted you, know, you to get. I was an athlete, money. but <laughs> I never, you know, I, I stayed my same height, and I just never grew. Okay. You know, so I just, <laughs> it yeah. happens. It happens. You know, it's, it's all good. It be uh, like that. <laughs> there's no, there's not a movie that uh, that made you say, "Man, I could, I could do this." Or is there an actor that really that inspired you? Um, I wouldn't say a particular movie. I was watching a bunch growing up, but who I was looking up to was, you know, Denzel, mm -hmm. and you know, I was watching. And live in color, mm -hmm. and all all of those characters on there inspired me. Like from Jim Carrey to David Allen Greer, all of those guys was just like doing their thing on, on that show. And I was just like, man, this is this is something I could you know potentially do one day. But you know, I just like I said, I was being scary and just never did it until I got to a point where I'm like, man, what am I doing with my life? You know, let me just try to go forward because life's too short. So might as well, you know, try to go at you know what you what you want to do. How long were you at the casino before you made that I was realization? There two years, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was actually years. there. All right. Hustling for cars, bro. You know, and tips. Okay. As a 20, 21 year old, 20, you know, I was just in it, bro. Best decision you've made, too, right? Yeah. Looking I mean, back, like, <laughs> well, yeah. Because if, if I wasn't there, you know, I don't know what I'd be doing. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you just really just take a long look at your life and you just, it's like self reflection. It's like, man. So you go, you get Chicago Fire. How was that process? That process was amazing. Um, when I got the audition, the the audition said his name was his character. The character name was Keith. Mm -hmm. He was eighteen, big, uh, you know, like menacing character. He mm -hmm. was protecting his brother. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, I ain't about to get this role. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm I'm five five eight. I was a buck, you know, buck forty. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm not getting this role. But it was at the time before COVID. It was self audition. I mean, um, in in person auditions. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I went in there, uh, Claire Simon was the casting director. I went in there, super confident, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, and it was a chair sitting in front of me. So I picked up the chair because I in, in the scene I had to like <laughs> swing a chair. Oh right, right, okay. In the scene yeah. I had to swing a chair. Mm -hmm. So I actually picked up the the chair in the in the audition room and was swinging it. And mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure like and I and I did my 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 uh, my scene, mm -hmm. and they, I guess it blew them away. And uh, I got I got booked for that role. So it was cool. So was like, before the audition, do you get, like, do you know what your lines or what you're supposed to say? Do you yeah, get they chance usually to send practice? It, yes, they usually send it either a day or two days in oh. advance. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. I thought and you, you got to know it a couple weeks or no, something. No, no, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it moves quick. The industry moves very fast. And so you, did you pick, um, I'm sorry, did you pick, you don't know which parts you're going out for? You just you, auditioned for the show? No, you, you know the character name. Oh, you okay. know the actual lines that you got to do when you go into the audition. So did you pick, did you say, hey, I want to be this guy? Or no, no. So, so the process works as, so there's, there's a casting director who, uh -huh. gets, who gets a breakdown from the, from the, you know, Dick Wolf or whatever. For the, you know, so they give uh -huh. that to the agents. Mm -hmm. And the agents, you know, get the roles for whoever they need for that particular, you know, episode. Mm -hmm. It could be okay. white guy, black guy, or, you know, 20-year-old, 20, 20 you mm -hmm. know. So then that's when we get the audition. So your ages get hey, hey they got this you, part exactly. Yeah. Okay. Would you be interested? Right. Basically, okay. Pretty much, you know. So mm. it's cool. You know, so okay. it's a process. When you what was that feeling? Uh, was it euphoric when you saw yourself on the TV screen? Like yo, it was it was it was crazy. It was it was it was it was, it was real crazy, bro. Because it was um, an experience like I never thought like I I didn't think it was gonna actually happen. You know, mm -hmm. um, like I said, it was just a dream of mine to actually try to go forward and do it and just mm -hmm. to actually see it happen. You know, it was it was something different. You know, being with family and watching myself on, on TV. Now, hold on, Zeke. We always ask like artists, they can they <clears throat> listen to themselves in the car? Can you watch yourself on the TV screen? I, I can watch myself on TV, but I'm always very critical on what I, <laughs> on what I do, and I'm always like, damn, I'm like, why did I make that face? <laughs> like I should have did something different, you know. But mm -hmm. it was it's cool. I can I can watch myself. You know, I don't mind it. It ain't nothing crazy. Oh you no. Know. When so this was you said Chicago Fire Chicago was this Fire, role, right? Yep. How many episodes were you in? I just did one episode, bro. They didn't. They never brought my character back. I'm sad about that. You name? got compensated. I though. got. I have a. I had a name. It wasn't back. It wasn't. You know, this gang gang member number one. <laughs> it was. It was. His name was Keith. So Keith. Well, so you weren't in the the cast before on the title screen. They don't have your name there, right? It, it's it's at the end. 
So oh, it's at the end. The okay. People, so the people names at the beginning. That's the series regulars. Those are the ones who right, get paid okay. twenty thousand per plus an episode. Mm. People at the end for Chicago guys, Fire, you said every TV show you see. Yeah, people yeah. in the front usually that's Damn, the people who they you know. Paid, yeah, a series regular in Chicago. So you just get paid for one episode. One episode. That's that's just. Does one. your your agent negotiate your price or? It, yes, they can negotiate it. Uh, if you were kind of like a name or something, they can mm-hmm. negotiate. Um, oh, so you for this they no, just said no, hey. this is my first one. They was like, no, <laughs> hey, this what you take? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I got regular SAG rate. Uh, you, right, I was gonna day. say you got your SAG card, yeah. right? Yeah, I got okay. my SAG card in 2017. Mm. Said you know I don't be dating rappers. I said I got my SAG card, baby. I'm an actor. Mm. Yeah, just local, not national. Okay, that's a difference. Oh, it, it's a difference. So na- local is just Chicago. National is just you can go, go anywhere. L. A. and ever you know and. The whole entire, you know, country, and that's more like that's like y'all union, correct? Like, yes. so it's more and this like, is an actual mm-hmm. card you have in your wallet. Yep, I got it in my wallet. Oh, right okay. there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I it was just uh, like, like an expression. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just paid my SAG dues. Like, you got to pay them huh? every six months. Yeah, it's a, it's that union. Yeah, you got to pay every six like months. Like when you, what if you ain't had a role in six months? You still got to pay it. You still got to pay it. When they was on strike, why do you think they was on strike? Yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah. Trying to get, okay. Trying to yeah. get paid. It's crazy. Wait, wait. So what is the card for? Like when you on set you got to show your card no, to get no, in you don't have to show your card you're official, oh no. it's like you really take it seriously Am yeah I correct? yeah that's, that's correct you know it's no it's okay. no, they don't like me and you can't yeah. go up to chicago pd and be like yo give us chicago fire and say yo, no i don't work like that yeah let, get, can like i get that. a can i get a role I can audition though you can as a as a extra, as an extra you gotta have an eight you gotta you go gotta through have, an agency yeah, you're yeah. Not gonna wait, wait wait so i can't just no I didn't ask no. my question yet. <laughs> no, bro. It's I can't whole, it's go to an open casting and get a role like you got. Not get? a speaking role. Hell Because <laughs> you're not a professional, man. What if I just got a natural talent? Oh, no, you got to... You gotta... Okay, so if you go into an emergency room, do you want somebody off the street? Oh, I got a natural talent to, to fix this nigga right here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, right. No, you got to train that, no, no, and no, no, practice that's, for that, That's bro. completely different. That's <laughs> saving it? somebody's life. <laughs> so if I what if I go for the speaking for the extra they be like yo man you could do the speaking role I can- oh, that, that, you're that, so great at being yeah. an extra. that very seldom happens bro but people do get bumped like you know oh they, that's called might, a bump okay yeah, you might get you know see they, you, you that know, is but, a thing but it's a one liner it's bro. an exception it, it ain't to no, the rule there's yeah, always exceptions it ain't no like you uh, an extensive character on the show you'll get a one it could be like Steve Urkel he wasn't supposed to be a main character. Well, I, don't know his I, name. I think he was a co-star, and they they bumped him up. Oh yeah, his name was at the beginning. I think he was, he was a co-star, and they bumped him up. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. See, man, that's possible. Yeah. Is it? He just said it. Yeah, you do that one line, yo, man. You killed that there's one. There's exception to the rules of everything. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not like we gonna come in there, yo, yo, V. We know you, baby. Let's get a line. No, man. We gotta pay our dues. The next, the next set I come on, I'm gonna invite you, and I'm gonna see if the, you know you be in the background. If they gonna bump you up to a nah. You know, How hard is it to be in the background? That's not hard. Oh, All okay. you gotta do is sign up. What a roll, like a, a like line, yeah, say that, some lines. Right, yeah. You gotta have the right. So I'm in the background. I see a guy messing up on this. Line. Yo, let me, hey, let me, let that me. That happens, try. man. I've been, on, I've been on set. I've been on set with <laughs> professional, like you know, VC list a- actors, and they, you know, you gotta go through it a bunch of times, bro. It's, it's not, it's not for the weak, you know. It's not for the weak, you know. So yeah. I don't. I'm not always perfect either, you know. It's, it's how long did the the Chicago fire scene take you? Um, how, how you say what you mean? How far did it take? No, you? how long did it take oh, you to? Like, um, you was it a bunch of takes or? Yeah, it was. It was like I t- it was like at least 14, 14 takes. Still Not because I was messing up, because they got to get different angles. Oh, and, okay. Uh, different perspectives, and plus I got a gurney hit me, so I had to do like I had a uh, a stunt double too. So it was, oh wow. Yeah. So it was it was it was crazy. Did your stunt double look like you really? He, he actually does. He's just a little lighter. Mm. He was a little lighter than me. Can you request to not have a stunt delay? Y'all want to do my own stunts? I don't know. I want to try that one day. <laughs> I really do. Like if it's another opportunity where I need a stunt double, I'm like, hey, let me let me just try it out. You know, be like Tom Cruise and do his own stunts. Like, yeah, I did. I did see you skydiving. So hey, you know. I, I'm I, I'm a risk taker, bro. Like, yeah. You know, like too short. It was out. I jumped out of a out of a plane, oh, no. fourteen thousand feet. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah, bro. I want to do it again. One time before I die. One more time. One more time. I when did. You, I did indoor. It was a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you do when you doing the scene fourteen times, how hard is it to keep your composure? Like, yo, I gotta keep the same voice. My eyes, right. you know, like, it's, can it's, it get annoying? Can it be like, man, I got I'm a professional. I just gotta keep the same. It's tough, man. You just gotta keep 
stay stay in, stay focused. Um, you know, your scene partner, you feed off your scene partner too. You mm. know, they give you all of the energy you need. Mm. And then, like you said, you just got to show up prepared and ready. You because you already know that you got to do a bunch of takes. Because you oh, okay. you're not showing, you're not gonna show up to a set and know you're not gonna do a bunch of takes. Because they got to get different angles and different perspectives. So it's like you gotta know when to, you know, when they speak and how to react. And when the camera's on you, you gotta, mm. it's like little mm. finesses you gotta understand about, you know, being in front of the camera and, and, and takes how many takes they gonna do for each each That's scene. Dope. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So you never took a drama class in school, nothing. So what I did was back in 2014, I uh, I took an acting class at Acting Studio Chicago. Oh, okay. Uh, I did a, a Meisner class at uh, Green Shirt Studio. What is that? And uh, it's a it's an acting technique. That's all. It's just a, a, a acting technique you use, repetition, different things like that, just okay. to familiarize yourself with different you know aspects of the craft and building the character. Okay. Stuff like that. Um, and then I trained under uh, Morocco Amari for a couple classes. Uh, he's a, a a great actor. I don't know if you know him. He played um, Cookie or Cookie's brother on Empire. Uh, I don't know. You probably know him. It's it's been a while, but uh, he's been you know helping me out over mm -hmm. the past years. You know, one of my mentors. What is a role? And I'm gonna get to the the other your other projects you've done. What's a role that you look for? Like, what's a character you want to do? A villain? Do you want to be a a, a superhero? You, you know what? I want to sort of kind of what. Um, Travante Rose did in Mia, Cop uh, Mia Copa. I want to play like a romance. Oh comedy. yeah, I, 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 I want to play I that wanna, role too. Yeah. No, for real. Like I want to. I want to have. I want to I I put paint on Kelly Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do something like that. I just think that'll be so much fun. You know, you know, with a with an actress. Actual. Yeah, like I think that'll be cool. I also would love to play like a superhero too, or in a, in a be in a superhero movie. You know, mm -hmm. as a villain or something like that. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, but that'll be dope. I have a personal question for you. What's the word? Are you in a relationship? I am in a relationship. So if you get the Mia Copa role, like like you said, would you would you think your girl would want to be on set? Like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> absolutely not. She's not gonna want to. Be on set. <laughs> we already had arguments about the, the roles I done done already. Oh, um, oh, wow. With some kissing scenes, you know. So wow. just kissing. I got she's a just question. Kissing. I got a it's question. Just Go ahead. <laughs> it's just I kissing. I ain't did nothing like too crazy, but you know, it ain't. So you would you would go the extra mile though, and do the the full love scene. I yeah, I would do that. I would do that. I mean, we'll. I'll have a conversation with her before. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. I. You know, I accept the role. Oh, okay. You know, I ain't gonna just. <laughs> hey, I'm having this sex scene. You know, you gonna you might see it. You know, we having a whole argument at the crib later. Have you, know? you have you done a, a, a sex scene? Or I just have, kissing? I have in my earlier days, but in, in the, the movie never got released. I'm, I was going to ask, released. how is that? Right. How, what is that you, process yeah, like? <laughs> what is that process like? You you get butt-ass naked and you like, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 oh, wait, wait. I think I heard that you, you have, uh, no what, what right? they call it? Uh, like you get to Girl. chill with the with the female actress beforehand. And, chemistry. And, yeah, chemistry, right? Well, yeah, we, we, we was a chemistry run, but this was... A short film. It wasn't like nothing oh, okay. like television or nothing. So this was some, you know, some. <laughs> so some anything look, goes. Anything goes. <laughs> so you know, it's like, hey, you gonna make this look real or not? You know. So you met her that day. I met her that day. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> you know, I met her that day. This was like 2013, 2014. When I like my early oh, early days. Okay. You know. So it was interesting. I'm glad it never got released. <laughs> is it is it true? You, it's no tongue, right? And kissing. Um, it can be tongue. Oh, it can. It can. Oh, wow. yeah, that's your price. Your preference, <laughs> wow. man. Make, make the scene look. Do real. you ha do you have? To, I'm sure you have to ask permission beforehand, or do you, you just go with the flow. <laughs> you, you just go with the flow. Y'all chill. So I mean, once you get hired for the role, we both know what it is. Oh, okay. You know, we both know what it is. Uh -huh. You know, you just now. Right. I'm on a professional level, right, it's yeah. like, okay, you know, we doing this. Let's make it look as natural as possible. You know how that's got to really be look. difficult. Too. Right? What if you see the girl and you don't like how she look? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to play it off, bro. You're a professional, professional, man. I'm gonna make you look oh, like you the finest okay. woman in the world. <laughs> I'm telling you, like you, you a one. I'm gonna make you look a one. You know, you're not gonna make my scene look bad. We are gonna yeah, both look good that's together. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Has there been scenes where you had to carry it, like carry the person, like, yo, man, like, yo, you in your head, you're like, man, you fucking up, bro. I'm going to carry this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, nah, I don't think I, nothing like that ever happened. It, it's always been, I've worked with some very talented people oh, okay. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like, honestly, though, I ain't just saying it. It's, I've been working with a bunch of talented people in Chicago, back mm -hmm. from my student film days, too. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's just on the come up and trying to do their thing, and so they try to do their best work, you know, mm -hmm. when they get on camera. You know, 
gonna, of course, we gonna mess up a few times, but like once you get in into it and rehearse and, and go through it, everybody be cool. You know, it, it be it be like right, real good. So you so. said you said your SAG car was local. Yes, local in Chicago. So it's only valid. It's really so, only valid in Chicago. So you can't if you get some work booked in L.A. You can't. I can, go? I can do it. I can do it. I can book like maybe one or two, and then they they're gonna make me go like national. I gotta get my national card, and that's an oh, extra. Okay. The set local was fifteen hundred. I gotta pay another fifteen hundred to go to go national. But I could do like two or three projects before they make me go national. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I can. So yeah. you can't just go to L.A. and still pay the local rate. That's what that's what it is. Nope. Okay. Once I once they make require me to get the national, nope, I have to pay that whatever the um, the dues are once you become national, which I think they stay the same, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm assuming you're gonna do that in the future, right? Of course, in the near future. Yeah, of course. You know. Yeah, you know, your, your talent needs to be seen all across America, not I, just Chicago. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> no, I really do appreciate that. Being from Chicago, you uh, we're also known for mild sauce. You did a uh, <laughs> you did a you did a film called uh, Mild Sauce, correct? Yes, it was called the uh, the Untold Story of Mild, Mild Sauce. Sauce. Okay. Mm. And shout uh, out to Anton Deshawn. He did, he's the director for it and writer. And there was a lot of singing and dancing in this. Yeah, man, that was different for me. That's why I was attracted to to the act to the movie because mm -hmm. um, you know that's it was out of my element. You know, I I be trying to do karaoke, but as far <laughs> as like dance moves and actually like, choreography, that was that was a challenge for me. But I I was up for the task mm -hmm. just because you know I just thought that this, this film was gonna be something like real special. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, rehearsed and did like you know choreography with each other, and uh, we made a beautiful film. Like it was just one episode, but it's just you know a beautiful film. Were you the lead, Lisa? Um, no, I wasn't the lead. Uh, what was, was your character? My character name was Heno, and I was kind of like the, the 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 tough, you know, I got an attitude in the group. You know, I don't <laughs> like, you know, they, I just don't follow directions. Type and anti person. pretty boy. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm the Tupac of the, you know <laughs> of the group. You know, got, got an attitude and just real loud and crazy and that was a fun film in that it was a fun film like I'm, was I, it actually about mouse sauce no so what that's the, just the title the title <laughs> he wanted to he wanted to grasp grasp the attention of people with the with the title yeah, uh -huh. my um mouse sauce is he was paying homage to a 90s group you know and he just used oh, the name okay uh, Miles so sauce. it's not about how mouse sauce is nope, made <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to do with mouse sauce he oh just okay wanted to get everybody attention yeah that's, that's, that's a good a title good, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So how they, long did how long did it take to film that? Uh, we did that in um, one day. Really? One day. Mm. We did it in one wow. day. Wow. Yeah, one day. It was dope. It was really dope. A lot of you know, choreography sessions, you know, practice. But you know, we filmed one that, one, and it was during COVID. We filmed that during COVID. One um, take, Jake. Yep. Man, one day. Yep. Shit. Yep. So he wants to do the feature film for it. We just got to see. You know, it just take money. It take money to do it. So, right. You know. Mm -hmm. but you people, people love it though. So, yeah. So you said um, you got the call for Chicago Fire. That was your first like actual role. First actual big role. Okay. You know how long did it take for you to get another role after that? And what do you, what are you doing in the meantime? Because you're not going back. You're not gonna go back and punch a clock in between, huh? Or are you? <laughs> 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 or are you? <laughs> well, so you know once you book a, a co-star role, which is which what I got. That's okay. like the the, the low rate of somebody who's who booked a role on TV. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I um, booked that, and the next role I got was the shy. No, you know what? It was a um, um, industrial for the uh, for the U S the U S Navy. Um, so like when you enroll in the U S Navy, um, they watch a, a training video, and I was one of the guys oh, in the training video okay. about sexual harassment in the Navy. <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. Wow. That was the la that was my next role after I got Chicago Fire. Were you the guy performing the sexual harassment? I was or? not. I was the one against it. Um, it was a guy harassing another guy, and I was the one standing up for the guy who was getting harassed. A guy harass harass harassing a guy? Yes, that's what it was about. Because when you go to the Navy, it'd be a lot of guys like inappropriate. No um, oh, yeah, say yeah. So it's Watch like what you say. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I'm just you know so. When I booked that role, it was different, you know, because we actually went to the U.S. I mean, the Navy base and was inside, oh, and right. I had to wear an actual uniform and oh, like everything, you know. How long did that take? Uh, that was one day shoot. Oh, okay. One day shoot. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. And, uh, so as long as you got a good agent, yeah, he, and he looking out for you, he always got something to throw at you. Because yeah, he true. wants to get paid too, right? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. agents, oh, yeah, he get a fee too. Damn. Agents only get paid when we book work. 
Yeah. Oh, so all of these other agencies okay. that requ- ask you for money prior to booking a role, it's a scam. So whoever listening to this, never take money from somebody who say they got a role for you or, you know, no, don't do that. Because you, you only, you only going to get, your, your representation only going to get paid when you book a role. So. Light, okay. light question. What's, what's the spread like on these uh, sets? Good spread? <laughs> good, good, good eatery? Like, who, who are we looking at? Oh, like? you talking about the food? Yeah. Oh, my God. Craft services? Man, they, they got the best food. And it's like, even when they, so when they're, when they're filming and you know they're filming, like, let's say, Center Space by uh, 16th and Western, mm-hmm. you could just pull up. <laughs> Low key, they don't. They don't know you're not on the show. They're not gonna ask you. Not, uh, you're gonna pull out your sad card. No, yeah. no, you <laughs> just pull up. Like, oh, okay. And then you just, you just get in line. Just, oh, <laughs> hey, I did that Wait, where is this? And it's wherever, wherever, wherever they the, the film. Locate, wherever the film base is. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, look at they it. don't know you. Don't light bulb went on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good eating. I mean, I ain't telling people to do it, but I'm just saying that you know you can just pull up the set and, and they got craft services. Just wait a little while and mm-hmm. just walk right in line and get some food. Nice, nice trailers some, on some of these sets. Oh yeah, nice trailers. They got fireplaces in there. They got all type Whoa. of stuff in there. Yeah, it's it's really nice. You know, they got the big mirror. They got the the big couch. You know, you, you know, nice nice bathroom. Mm. It's a vibe. So I saw your scene on the shy. You played. Uh, did you did that character ever name, or were you just? No, nah, you know what? <laughs> thug I ain't gonna number lie one, to you, man. <laughs> I was leader of the wild boys, man. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't had no name for me, man. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this though. Before I got that that role, I was actually up to play Ridge, and uh, mm. between me and Bart, the character who played mm-hmm. him, he got it over me, mm-hmm. um, which 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 was fine. He did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But once yeah. uh once I didn't get that, they wanted me back, and that's when I got that role and I auditioned for it. Oh, I got that good. role. You know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy because I'm like, damn, what if I would have been Reg for real? You know. But, right. <laughs> you know. But it's cool, man. That's my homie. He, he he did a good job. What's even crazier? What's even crazier is that. Have you been in that those situations in the shy where, cross you know, going to different turfs, neighborhoods, etc., where it's you know frowned upon for lack of a better word. Well, I, so was like, did that really hit home in the being well, a wild boy? How, so how I how I um got into like the actual character and, and the scene or whatever. I was just thinking about my childhood. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to I used to hoop and you know back in back at the crib. And I used to bring my rim out all the time and be in the alley, you know, just hooping with the guys around the corner on Wentworth. Cause mm-hmm. I'm from I'm from Roseland, like West Pullman, 123rd Street. So you know, uh, it was a time where we were gonna go down the street across the tracks, you know, by like 119th. Um, and some guys was like, man, y'all, y'all, y'all can't come this way, you know, y'all, y'all gotta go back the other way. And then mm-hmm. we was like, we was kids, we was like, all right, we gonna we gonna stay over here, like. Mm-hmm. And I kind of used that as a as a tool when I was in that scene, right? Yeah, you know. So I'm like, yeah, this actually happened to me. Mm-hmm. You know, now I'm being the aggressor, me and telling them y'all can't come this way. Damn, you know. Mm-hmm. So now, you know, looking at looking at looking it back at it, I'm like, okay, I did a I did a, a good job showcasing like my own you know personal experiences with that. And I I can't redo that scene no more because both all all the characters you see on the show taller than me now. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah. I'm that was back when looking they, up to them. That was like, was that season one? That was season one, which oh, was 2017. Yeah, yeah they look we real. They look like babies yeah. on there. They all taller than me. <laughs> so when I see them, I'm like, man, what is going on, man? All y'all taller than me? Oh my god. You know. So for that for that role, were you worried about um, being typecast as? Playing a thug, or did, did, that, did that not matter? No, it didn't bother me because I I know I know my capabilities. I know I'm I'm really versatile when it comes mm-hmm. to you know the, the craft, and you know I can I feel like I can be a, a doctor, I can be a thug, mm-hmm. I can be you know a, a romance or whatever. I don't know you know a, a, a waiter. It, it could, I could be whatever, bro. Like mm-hmm. I didn't think I was gonna get typecast after that. Okay. Um, you know, it was an experience. You know? That that does. I mean, that does happen. Correct. It does happen. Of course. Where you get um, pigeonholed and you do this yeah. one. Okay. But I I just feel like I I have a, a ver- very versatile look where I don't think I would get typecast as a gangster. Okay. You know, okay. they're not gonna just keep bringing me in as a gangster. I don't, <laughs> no, they, no, I don't. So, well, so the way you're describing it now, your agent brings you the role. So if you're getting typecast, isn't that? Well, your agent usually knows on, what type on of, you for well, accepting your, it. Your agent, yeah, your agent usually knows what type of characters you can play. But mm-hmm. the the breakdown comes to her desk, and they usually they usually know what type of character they can submit you for. And it's the the 
at the end of the day, the casting director says, okay, I want to see that person. Mm. Okay. It's not the agent who says, I'm, you gonna, you got to audition. It's the casting director who says, oh, oh okay, okay, I want to see him for this particular role. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think I'll be, you know, looking at a bunch of gangster roles or hood roles, you know, moving forward because, mm -hmm. you know, I, they can see they can see your reel and your work moving forward and, like, all the things you put out. So I don't oh, think, you know, okay. they're they not going to keep bringing me in for that. Role. And your portfolio, mm -hmm. I mean, you're, like, building it up right now. Yeah. And it's, it's going to get pretty extensive, you know what I'm saying, like the more stuff you do. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. I'm, are I'm you, praying on it. Are you uh, open to commercials? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Commercial money, money is right? yeah, 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 I heard commercial. <laughs> commercial money yeah. is yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you, heard, when you yeah. book a national commercial, man, man. can I have a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a dollar, please. Like, man. Wait, wait. So would you prefer doing only commercials? At this point, I lay. I, would, I, would, I mean... I would, I would, if I'm if I'm really hurting for for cash, and I'm like, man, let me let me get a commercial. I would do it, but mm. that ain't. I mean, that ain't. So my you're passion. not out searching for a a find me a commercial. No, nah, no. Nah, oh, okay. No. Nah, is it is it as intense and competitive to do the commercial as well as? It's very very competitive. Okay. You audition, you know, and you you know you you show up, and they say the trick the, to book a commercial is to be very corny. <laughs> I've heard that. I swear. To book a, commercial, a lot of commercials yeah. do seem yeah. corny. You got to make really, sense. I heard you got to be really corny. I only booked one. So and what was that? Um, what commercial was that? That was a um, uh, Comcast Xfinity. Commercial. Oh, yeah. I do. Re I do remember yeah, that. that was, yeah. yeah. So that was a while ago. So. Speaking yeah. role. Yeah. 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 Oh, I do okay. remember you yeah. doing that Comcast. Yeah. So that was cool. So how does how does the pay work on the commercial? Do you get paid every time it come on TV or? Well, it's like a um, it tells you how many times it's supposed to run, and they kind of mm -hmm. like already have a set. Oh, you know, okay. But uh, like I don't know. I want to see what that national is like though. Yeah. Like because you get oh, like, so that's real, just a uh, local Chicago yeah, commercial. Yeah, okay. yeah, it didn't. Yeah, so it, mm -hmm. it is what it is, man. But man, I'm, if I could be like Jake from Straight State Farm or something like that, he can bread, or, or like Flow from Progressive or something like that, bread. Like, man, like you know how they just she just yeah. own it every, every every time, man. Yeah, that's that'd money. Be dope. That's super. So good. that's they only gig. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never seen bag. Jake in nothing else. They well, no, them. he done some small. I seen Jake in a small role somewhere, like one of them BT late night shows. <laughs> no, for real. But he getting a bag. He getting a bag now. Oh, State Farm. So that'd be a blessing if I can come across something like that, like you know, be that guy for something. Does he have a, a contract with State Farm? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he he can't even do like another insurance company. Damn. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can't you can't you can't rep Geico now. Oh like, you, yeah, okay. That. So you know he he got a pretty probably a long term contract. Damn, he been doing it for yeah a he been doing too. it for a while yeah. yeah yeah for sure. So that's what's up, man. Like, have have uh, have you got your first uh, person that uh, asked for your autograph? A lot of people ask for your anybody you know, ask for your autograph. Yeah, when I'm uh like if I'm at like a get together or uh, we at an event with other other people I've worked with or whatever, people are asking for autographs. You know, I'm I don't I'm cool. I'm like you know <laughs> I'm like yeah, y'all actually know who I am. <laughs> you know, I, had, I had a small role. You know, I ain't no main character, but you know it's it's a blessing, man. As long as I can inspire another person, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm cool with that, man. You know? Speaking of which, it, don't don't you have a uh, aren't you in in a restaurant with your, with a headshot? In? Oh, you know what? They took it down. Uh, what? It, was, it was only up for maybe like three months. It was at uh, why they take it down? I don't know, man. Five, first of all, who, what is it? Uh, uh, no, Dillinger's on 127. They had my uh, picture from the shy all on the on the table when you. Uh, oh, the food. that's dope. So they got when you walk in, they got all the like athletes that the the owner met uh -huh. with, and he met with like. Michael Jackson, Jordan, okay. you know, he got everybody on there, and he put my picture because he's a fan of the shy mm. on the table, and he right. put it on there. But it was it was gone after like three months. <laughs> it's cool though. It's cool. Did like, he tell you he was gonna do nah, that? No. So I uh, when I went in, and he was like, uh, <laughs> you bitch. I went in. He was like, man, you look. Familiar. I was like, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm a, this my neighborhood. You know. He was like, man. I got to I gotta get you in here, man. I got to get you one of your pictures. I'm like, all right, cool. So we took a picture. Right. Next thing I know, I went in like <laughs> two weeks later, and it's on the shelf. I'm like, damn, you the man, bro. I, I mess with you. I went in, man, like four months later. Man, they had Michael Jordan on there. Like, it's cool. It's cool. It be like that. You know, what have you done for me lately? Right. Damn. It's cool, man. I, pre I really appreciate him for doing that because, you know, that brought open a lot of doors, you know, as far as, you know, he gave me some free food sometimes. You know, oh. Coming in, <laughs> he cool though. You know, it's cool. That's all right. That's all right. He he gonna put your picture back up. You know, yeah, it's all good. He you gonna know. put your picture back. When I book up. a big big role. I'm gonna go back. Right. Take another picture. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, no, even, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When you when you were on the shy, uh, how long was that process? How long were you actively filming for that? That was another one day. Oh, that was just one day. Another one day, and, and it's and it's crazy because I I met all the kids that day, mm -hmm. and then we had an instant connection. We were, we were on the van. 
going to set and they were all just cracking jokes on each other. I'm like, man, who is these kids? <laughs> like, because when I read the script, I'm like, Papa. I'm like, who, who, what, who, who is Papa? Like, I, I was just reading the script. I'm like, yeah. oh, so I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm talking to some kids. Mm. So then when I met them, they was all funny, bro. And they was all super cool. Like, their parents were super cool. Mm-hmm. And then we just had a, a good time, man. Like, we were in line trying to get food at craft services and. The character Jake, who uh, who plays Jake with the dreads, he walked up and we was just talking mess, trying to get food. Like we were just in character the whole time. Like it was a real dope experience. So what's the longest you've been on set? The longest I've been on set was for four days for a movie called um, Working Man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was cool. I mean, you know, I wish I could be on set for like a, a twenty day shoot. That's in the future, though. Yeah, you know, that's in the future. But they say that's boring, though, being on yeah. set that long. Ah, uh, it can be, but man, that bag, that bag talk, <laughs> and um, you know, and you just they understand. say it's like eight hour days, right? Uh, more than that. Oh, well, yeah. And, and depending on if you start at night, it can go into the morning. Like it's oh, just not, okay. it's not like a seven to five or a seven to three. It's man, it started. Call time is at two. Makeup. Four, you all could be shooting to like three o'clock in the morning, three or four o'clock in the morning. You just never know. Do you are you on like when you're on set and you're doing the the four day joint, mm-hmm. do you go you don't go to a hotel home or you just there or it depends on if they put you in one. I I I didn't. I didn't okay. uh go in a hotel or anything. But uh if you do like a uh if they fly you out there if it's not in the you know same location where you live, mm-hmm. they'll put you in a space. Oh, okay. You know, they ain't gonna how you they ain't gonna leave you high and dry. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That'll be bogus, I mean, so you know, it's cool. I know it's early in your. How long have you been acting since? It'll be 20, it, professionally. Yeah. Ten years. Mm-hmm. Ten years. Is is there a role that you will not do under any circumstance, or are you open? Pause. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so all I'm gonna say is. Well, have you turned down some roles? Of course, I've turned down some roles. <laughs> um, it's, it's some it's some people in the industry who try to you know try to like throw push, one under the table the and see and see how far you would go. You got to understand. You got to have morals, yeah. values, principles that about yourself, and you got to know your you know know yourself and what you would do and won't do. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I um, you got to be be a real true artist to grasp um, you know people you know and what what their identities and who they are. Mm-hmm. But for me, you know, I, I can't I can't kiss another man on camera and do nothing like that, bro. Mm. Uh, so if you ever see me on the red carpet at the Oscars, just know I didn't do nothing strange or do a little <laughs> piece of change to get there. You know, with somebody the opposite sex. Um, you know, that's just me being real. You know. How do you uh, prep for a role? Like, what is uh, what do you do? Uh, my due diligence, bro. Um, you got to really figure out who this person is, the relationships that they have with the people who you're speaking to, um, you gotta build build them up. What 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 is he like? You know, has he been to jail? You know, is, what has his past girlfriend's been like? How does he treat? You know, you gotta come up with this in your yeah. own mind and like put mm. this together and create it and bring it you know bring it to the screen, bro. You know, but you gotta read the script and understand the type of person he is while you know what, like the language they use when they talking to other characters, bro. Mm. So when they give you a, a role, is it just a name? Do they give you any type of background on who they the guy's supposed I to be? They give you a basic four paragraph description of oh, okay. the character. And then you, so you, you know create, a little you bit. You do the rest. Yep. You, you okay. got yep. to do your character work on that once they wow. give you like the little description. you know, And they never know what they're looking for until they see it. Damn. So they can say what they want. Oh, I want this character to be like this, like this, like this. But then once you give them your um, interpretation exactly they then they like oh I like how he did that so when, when oh. Keith when you was Keith and grabbed the chair they're like right. oh, oh yeah <laughs> yeah, get him. yeah exactly I'm pretty sure nobody did that like, yeah they're like oh okay you know so that was cool so it's it's a process you know it's hard though like I, I've been I thought about giving up like more than 10 times nah man for Whoa. real more than 10 times it's that hard to break into this industry don't give up man oh I'm not nah, don't I, give you up. know but it's, it's tough bro do you see a lot of people so you said you thought about giving up 10 times. Do you see any people in the industry that have a like a mega cheat code that that get to go where they want to go easily? Um, you know what? Some what people, is the cheat code in acting? It's it's not a cheat code, man. Some really? People, some people are just more blessed than others. Being at the right place at the right time, meeting the right person at the right time, just being in that right space, you know. What you if can, my dad is like a huge director? Wouldn't that make it easier for me? Of course. 
Of course, that would make it easier for you. But a lot of people don't have that that same opportunity. Um, you know, if you if if my dad Samuel L. Jackson, and, and I'm like, man, I, I want to get on get on a show or a movie or whatever. I mean, he could use his powers, but it's like I, you still gotta like be a good. You gotta be good. Oh, oh like yeah, Denzel. Son. You gotta be good. Like yeah, Denzel. Be, son. Yeah, yeah, Denzel. Son he's, is good. He's good. Though. Yeah, he's like, good. Yeah, like, but he's he has good. to work his way up. Right, yeah. yeah, you just don't get thrown into it. You know, you don't just get a role. I'm sure, he had. I'm, I'm sure. But for the for normal people, you got to work your way up or just be with the if right If I go in there right for people. a role against Denzel's son, he probably going to get the role. Oh, yeah. Probably 100, <laughs> 100 times out of 10, bro. Right. Like, it's just how, you know, it's, sometimes this is how it is, you know. But you just got to keep going. Uh, like my homie, uh, Chris Lofton, who's on Power right now. Like, he was in L.A. Shout out Chris Lofton, Proviso West. Yes, sir. So he was in L.A. for a while. <laughs> I think he was there for a year. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, he worked. He, he said he was in the rooms in L.A. with, like, A-listers just – getting shut down all the time and he just kept grinding it out and then the mm-hmm. casting directors kept seeing him come in and he just kept grinding and then you know push come to shove he just kept booking he just kept booking it and he just got on so mm-hmm. i'm proud of i'm proud of him like that's what's up you know can you show up somewhere where you're not booked and get on like if you're just hanging around oh man i seen you on such and such i mean i wouldn't say you can get booked but they can like you know, if they see you at out or whatever, and then you come across they audi- like they see your audition tape for something that they're doing, mm-hmm. they might consider you. I mean, I, it ain't gonna be no guarantee you book the role, but you know, either that or they'll just be like, okay, he look he's not good for this one, but like let's use him for another role, or he can like mm-hmm. you know, you know, it'd it be like that sometimes too. But you can't just be at a at a party and be like, oh. You're gonna be on the, on the next uh, on the next movie I do. <laughs> no, I don't work like that. that that's what I've heard. I've heard. It's, it's, how how often does you you walking down the street? Yo, you will be perk because remember uh, Soul Food, the movie. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. light skinned guy who uh, was got into it with a uh, Makai Pfeiffer. Yeah. He was trying to take his girl. Yeah. yeah, they said dude was working at an airport or something, I and mean, the, the director saw. Him, oh, you should be in this movie. And he was in Soul Food. I mean, that's <laughs> like I don't, I don't know, know if that's true. That's what I don't what know I, that. that's the story I remember about just, the guy. It, it's a possibility it could happen, but, but that it, ain't that it, ain't going to nah, happen. No, nah, bro, it don't. No, nah, not in not in today's age. You you just not gonna be walking down the street and somebody gonna be like, man, you you look amazing for this movie. I want you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't gonna work like that. Mm. It's a process, you know. They might say, "Hey, you, you, you got a, a certain type of look that I like. You should get with this agency or take." Oh, some yeah, you still got, you know, go you still gotta go yeah. through a process. <laughs> you know, they, you know, they ain't just gonna throw anybody on screen, bro. It's, oh, you know, okay. it's, it's, it's an actual craft you gotta learn and, mm-hmm. and figure out. You know, so it's, you know. So when you said you, uh, you were studying acting, how was that? Do he just say, "Hey, play this"? Be sad, or like, how do you train to become an actor? Are they just throwing different uh, scenarios at you, and you got to act them out, or? Um, it's it's different techniques on learning, like the craft. Um, it's different techniques on using your imagination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's different techniques of actually like being in the moment and being like a method actor. You know, um, a lot of people I know, or I I kind of like use my 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 imagination when I um you know, internalize what type of character I want to do or how, what type of emotion I want to come out. So and you I, can you can cry on cue. I was going to ask. I, <laughs> I, can, I can, I can. And shout out to Big Homie Blo- uh, Big Homie Blocks. He's doing this like little viral thing where he's asking people to cry in one, in one minute. And uh, I don't know if y'all seen that, but I'm just like, that yeah, let me, let me sign up for that. I can do it. <laughs> so, but I just use my past, man, mm-hmm. and to, to, to dive into my emotions, man. You know, um, just think about a lot. You know, my, my mom passing away just when I was 16. Mm-hmm. Uh, just different scenarios, you know, and just using that as my my driving force. I don't know if I could do that. It's, it's tough, bro. Yeah, you know, I don't, it's, it's, I don't, I'm, yeah, I can't do that. I mean, you just got to be an emotional, kind of like emotional. I'm a Virgo, so I'm a, I ain't going to lie. I'm a little emotional, you know. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to y'all. Like, I'm just hard, dude. Uh, no, right, I'm a little right, emotional, man. Right. I got feelings. <laughs> you know, I ain't soft, but I got it. I'm a, I, 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 I got what it. does that have to do with when you were born, man? <laughs> So if you were born in, I don't know, when was Virgo? What month oh, is September, it? man. September so if you were born in January, you wouldn't be able to cry on cue? I ain't saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying the type of person I am and, you know, the people I know and grew up with, that you know, I know, like, like my mom, she was a, a Scorpio. She was super tough, like, loud. Loving, but they, she was they super say tough. That about Scorpios. You know? Oh my! God. <laughs> <laughs> he a Scorpio. You, yeah. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm a Libra. You a Libra? Oh, okay, so you right. You right after me. You yeah. October. You know, yeah. so you know, you I'm, cool. I'm scales. Balanced. <laughs> I'm balanced. Yeah. And where are you? Leo. Leo. 
Yeah, yeah. Leo. He August. He August. You know, July, July third. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're a lion. You're king of the jungle. Man, <laughs> I don't know too much about. You're the myself. leader of your pack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know too much about my time. But right on. Just know it's a lion. Um, I don't know if you can educate us on this. Do you know? Like, would you go into voiceovers or voice animation? Oh yeah. Be, I would. I would love to. I would love to do that. You know. I. You know. Which it's funny you just said that. Because I was like really like how like I did earlier when I was using my creative thinking about how we can make the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was thinking I I ain't never do it, but I was just thinking like something I can do to promote myself and like be do something different. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about doing like a uh, one of the like a sex voiceover. Like I don't <laughs> I know it sounds crazy a sex voiceover for like somebody who's like 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 a sex operator. Uh, I don't know, oh, oh. but like in different, in like I, it, it, I will have I to was, like show you my vision. Totally no, 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 no. <laughs> you know how you know you sound you sound sexy over the phone and you talking to like you know something like that. But I was just gonna do something in that in that realm and mm. make it go viral. But I, uh -huh. I never did it because yeah, I ain't, sex, I couldn't I couldn't sales. keep I couldn't put the vision together on yeah. how I wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, sex sales. Like use your voice to like do something crazy and like like how women like damn he do sound you know I don't know <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, voiceovers is something I always wanted to do. What are you looking forward to doing in the future? To be honest, I'm using acting as a stepping stone to get behind it behind the scenes. Mm. Oh, you don't want to be an actor. I want to. Like. I do. I want to be. I want to be an actor, but I really want to like produce. Uh, oh, be the person okay. who's got their hands and who, where are you getting the money from and actually putting the project out. You know, I'm oh, just okay. using the money. I'm just using acting right now to to get where I want to. Because you know. Michael B. Jordan, he started off as a you know actor. Now he's directing. He directed Creed. All right, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if mm -hmm. directing for me, but I know I want to be a producer and, and writer. For yeah. those that don't know, uh, can you break down the difference between producer and director? I was going to ask that. Um, so the producer <laughs> is the person who controls where you get the money, the financing from for the film, and they actually pr you produce it. Okay. The director oh. is the person who you know directs how it looks and like the actors and you know where like what the type of mannerisms you you know you see and okay. the actual look of the film or the movie. So a producer is above a director, correct? Like would, a director you, answers to the producer. The, the producer, yes, the producer hires the director. Oh, and okay. They hire, they hire, they, they get the financing and hire from, the team. Yeah. Okay, from another. So the manager. producer not really. Involved in the movie? Oh yeah, he's involved. He he's the that, one. He's overseeing the money, right? Yeah, the, 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 but the he's putting the money. Like, is he like, no, nah, I want this scene done over. He's not doing that, right? I mean, he can have a say so, or he or she can have a say so. But um, it's usually the director who you know can navigate on what right. what they want. Uh, the producer is going to give the vision, and mm -hmm. the director is going to take take what on takes what's on the script and make it to what what it should be or what the vision was in the beginning, you know. Does so, the producer write the script? It could, you could be a writer, producer. You could be, the one person can do everything. You can, you know, okay. if that's... Don't Martin Scorsese do, a, do yeah, that? Like, he uh, does everything? He can, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure he got people behind the scenes doing stuff for him, too, but yeah. Somebody in Hollywood do, like, everything. Oh, uh... uh Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, He yeah. does oh, everything. He do yeah, everything. Yeah. Mia Copa. Exactly. Right. He wrote, directed, produced yeah. it. Like, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm pretty sure he got a nice team behind him. But yeah. He doing all of that, man. I give my respect to him because he, you saw where he came from, man. I mean, that man was homeless. Yeah. You know, and he just built himself into a, an icon, you know. And he put, he put black people on. Yeah. And I yeah. respect that yeah. to the highest degree. So whenever we see movie credits and we see producer, that's who put the money up for the film. Basically, so if you see producer and like executive producer, that's where the fight. That's where the money coming from. Mm. That's where that's where who's financing, helping find or finding the finding money. the person oh, that's got the deep pocket. Okay. Like when, when Spike Lee be saying he be looking for money for a film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm. Yep. So. So you know. we can be producers, if, you know, yeah. for money long yeah. enough. Yeah, exactly. You know, like say if I'm like, man, I got this project I want to do. I need we gotta a producer. Finance it. Okay. Y'all, if y'all got the bread, y'all right. can produce my movie. Because y'all got the money for it, mm -hmm. and that means you, we got we can hire a director, and the director's gonna hire all the people you need to produce this movie. Oh, yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we 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 trust in your vision to be like, ah, right, yo, exactly. To, and okay. it's gonna be like, okay, he can he can probably make my money back. Let me let me let me right, do that. Let me right. invest in that. Let yeah. me invest in that. That's yeah. what a lot of people do. That's what I'm saying. So like, yeah. a producer could just like, all right, here's the bread. I'm gonna go off and do something else. Basically, <laughs> yeah, 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 seriously, yeah, oh, for yeah. real. But his name is on it as yeah. producer. Yeah. And they get you that that money you are gonna get as a producer. Yeah, when you in the big league, yes, Oof. that's why people be producers. Yeah, that's where the money at. The actors, we ain't getting paid nothing. 
to, you want to be a producer. That's crazy. Yes, you want to be a producer. Producing and writing, right? Yes. Writing, yeah, they make a lot. Writer, yeah. writing is a lot. You make yeah, a lot of writing. for real, bro. So I'm trying to get to that point. Where I, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to actually do it. I want to start That's off crazy. small and then, you know, work, work my way up. First of all, uh, congratulations on y'all reaching an agreement and not being on strike. That's oh man, thank God! <laughs> I know that was I know that was difficult yeah, times. Man, man, that was tough, man. <laughs> but I, we it was it was a we were striking for a reason, man. They were trying to, you know, take away what our residuals was going to be. Uh, they were trying to replace us with AI, <laughs> you know. So it's it, it worked out in the favor of of the actors moving forward. Uh, so y'all happy with the uh, the end result? It could be better. Okay. It could be better, but um, as far as right now, yeah, because the contract is only for three years, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna oh, be back okay. in the same spot three years. in you know twenty what twenty seven or whatever, something like that. I don't know twenty twenty six or whatever. So we'll see. Um, so is is the shy on uh, streaming? Yes, the shy right now is on Showtime. So Showtime. how does that work for you? It's Since fu- you were there, I was there, and I did I did uh, two episodes, season mm-hmm. one and two. Um, and I get residual checks, but they don't be, don't know, it don't be nothing. Oh, okay. No, I heard of that too. Yeah, it don't be nothing. It be, it's, it's, sometimes it'd be like $6. Damn. You know, $7, yeah. So what is the big, What? how do you get your big checks? Just up front? You get it up front, and then, um, you know, you might get like one, one chunk big one down the road, and everything else is like small, you know, when they play reruns or whatever. So, uh, but uh, but as far as like when you do a book a commercial and you get a um, um, residual from that, that might be a lot bigger than when you book like a TV show, mm-hmm. you know, one one scene or whatever on a TV show or something like that. Okay. So, I got a I got a question. You don't have to answer it. It's kind Uh-oh. of <laughs> I don't want to get into your pockets, but what was what was something that you you treated yourself with with one of those checks? Was there something like it was like, man, you know what? I'm on, you know, I just wanted this and. It don't even have to. It don't have to be big, small, whatever. Just some you just you spoiled yourself with. Uh, yeah, in twenty um twenty eighteen, I uh, booked I booked a trip to Paris to see my cousin get engaged, and then mm. right after that, I went to London mm. to meet a chick. Mm. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> and, nice. and the same three months, like within three months. So oh, it was okay. an ex- it was experiences that I nice. bought. I didn't yeah. buy like nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, nice. So I like that. That was cool. I yeah. I'm nah, believing it at that. No, no, say no mas. <laughs> say no mas. Say no mas. Yeah. yeah. Good. So that was cool. That's yeah. good. How many more years do you give yourself? Do I give myself? In in the acting field. Well, you said you already thought about giving up, so maybe I shouldn't ask no, that question. No, I'm not saying I'm a, I'm going to give up. Uh I'm I'm definitely not. I thought about it. I'm saying mm-hmm. I, I thought about it, but I'm not I'm not going to. Um I'm gonna keep going until I feel like I can't I can't go no more. So if that's until the, the day I die, then that's you know that's what it's gonna be. You know, um, I'm just gonna keep putting my foot forward, uh, keep trying to achieve the things that I want to achieve, keep creating. You know, create my own content, do you know do things out of my element. You know, uh, I just want to have an everlasting you know effect on people. Mm-hmm. You know, if I can continue doing that, then that's important. I don't you know if it's acting behind the scenes, whatever. As long as I can affect somebody else to achieve what they want to do, then that's cool. I'm about the people, you know. Speaking of which, uh, mm-hmm. speaking of the people, you are a person that go to grammar schools and read. Yeah, part of a yeah, program. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Real Man, shout out to Joy. Uh, to Joy, she brought me into this program called Real Man Read, mm-hmm. and uh, I went to JG Wentworth a couple times and, and read to the kids. You know, oh, just inspired, dope. inspired them. You know, just to keep going. And then um, my other homie Adam, um, shout out to him. I, I, I went to his uh, location and, and uh, showed them, you know, some things about acting and talked mm-hmm. to them and did some improv with them. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, just because they some kids from the neighborhood who don't, you know, really don't know what what else is out there. They just right. think, you right. know, you know what they know. But I got to show them like, hey, it's other avenues you can go. So right. that's the reason I like doing stuff like that. Oh. You know, so knowing what you know now. Mm-hmm. If I say, hey, man, I want to become an actor, what do I do? I'm sure you wouldn't say Google how to become an actor. So no. I what would, I what would be that. your your path if I, if someone asked you how to be an actor now? I would say to do everything, which means, like, if you working, work the job, go out, sit at the table, watch how people are walking, watch how people are talking, just mm-hmm. understand people. Um, 
first and foremost, yes, you would want to understand like how like people talk to each other. You just want to understand how life actually works with people. You know, mm-hmm. you, you got to understand people to be an actor. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Aside from that, I would say train, go to an acting school. You know, mm-hmm. uh, learn theater. Theater is where y- your bread and butter. You can really learn how to build a character when you do theater. That's the it's, fundamentals of that. Yeah, okay. like that's 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 where it's at. Because um, you, you can you can really it ain't no cuts. You got to be on stage and you got to be who you are. Oh yeah, you, true. ain't no ain't no messing up. So it's <laughs> yeah. like you got to understand that script. So you can really build your build know how to build a character from learning mm-hmm. theater and be doing theater. That's what I would tell somebody. I wish I would have started off doing theater. I didn't only done, I've only done one theater production. Mm. What um, was that? That was called The Road Ahead. Um, uh, shout out to Marcus Summerall for uh, putting me on with that. That was back in 2016, mm. and I haven't done theater since. Cause it's, it's really time consuming. Um, I'm not saying I don't have the time to do it, but it's very strenuous with your schedule. You know, if you are, how long it, does it take to do that theater? Well, the rehearsal schedule is crazy. It's all day, and then you once you be, book the job, it's Thursday through Sunday for like two months straight. Damn. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like no, it's it's a lot. But I I, re- I take my hat off to people who who do it. Cause that's a lot, but th- those are the top tier actors. That's why casting directors and everybody go to theater to see, you know, uh, the actors. Cause they, that's that's the top tier actors that, they, that mm. you gonna find. Seriously. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like for real, like you know. So I don't know. Maybe one day, but as of right now, I don't. I don't, I don't have the desire to do theater. <laughs> but I just know that's where the fundamentals from acting can come from. So ain't no way you could be an actor without going to acting school. No, theater. ain't you ain't just showing up and just getting getting a role <laughs> on on Power or Snow or whatever. No, they, you you gonna have to do some work. They not gonna you. They gotta see what type, what type of work you done. They just, you, you need to see some kind of demo reel or I'm, something. I'm gonna show the work when I get there and hey, give me my lines. No man, it don't work like that, man. You live you living in La La Land. Yeah. You think that's gonna happen, bro? <laughs> <laughs> T- t- it on. ain't no way you could just no, bro. Do, um, a on natural a ma- on a, talent on a major TV show. You think you're just gonna pull up and they be like, "Oh yeah, you gonna play this role?" No, no. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, hey, let me try for what's the guy name on on uh, Empire? Terrence Howard Ter- what was his character. Oh, uh, I can't Lucius, just go up. Lucius. Yeah, I can't just go up there and read his and do a no, scene. Bro. They be like, "Yo, you perfect." No, bro. That, you're a- saying that's impossible. <sighs> It's like slim. It's slimmer than a one percent chance. That's gonna, that's gonna happen, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, G. That's slim, bro. Like, it's a process, man. You really got to go through the mud sometimes. Man. If I know the agent, I, I use a oh, cheat bro, code to no. get yeah, in. You just see, what 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 Dude, line of work I, can I, you do that? You can't do that in the NBA. I be I be looking baseball. at I be looking at TV show. Man, I could have played this role. <laughs> Y'all don't do that. No, bro. You don't. You you kind of well, do do that. I'm saying when I was watching well, Power, when what? I was watching Kane, I was like, man, I could have played Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> I could wear glasses and be menacing. I could do that. Uh, I, I think I, I think he's a theater actor too, though. The yeah, guy. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you must sure. have got that before. For sure. <laughs> man, you know what? It's a lot of a lot of people from the UK taking a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. yeah. How you, you feel know, about y'all, that? Y'all beef? Them, y'all beef? No, we ain't beef them, but. <laughs> I don't. They just for some reason they put them on a a, a, a higher pedestal than they they take us. I guess I guess yeah. they think they take their training more seriously or something like that. I don't know what it is, bro. But they're hiring these guys to play us. You yep. Know? Yep. You know, and I'm like, damn. And then you, they get off like, camera this, and then this, they speak. Right. Yeah. You're like, man, like, that's a good actor. Right. You look up an interview. It, like, man, he got that accent. Right. So it's like, <laughs> you don't even sound like that. Right. So it's like, man, do I want to travel out there and learn the accent and come back and <laughs> right. use that accent and try to book a role? Like, do I got to do that? Like, damn. It's cool, though. Like, it's all good. Take take, it off, take off your acting hat real quick. We always ask this because uh, we're be, big uh, pizza consumers. Give me your, uh, give me some of your good pizza spots. My big, my good pizza spots. I would have to say you're from Chicago, South Side. What is a good pizza spot for you? Um, Beggars, Pequods. Just had Pequods. Um, <laughs> Pequods. <laughs> Luman, Luminati's. Uh, top, like top three. Uh, oh, I would that's, say that's I'm a not, great I'm, top three. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I'm good. not a fan of like Italian fiesta. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> I'm sorry. Easy. Wow! <laughs> I, I might have pissed Calm a lot down. of people off, but I'm, wow. this guy, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan. Wow. I never had it. I'm not a fan. I know. Wow. And, 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 and I'm from the south side. I'm not a fan of Italian fiesta. A lot of people love it, but I'm not a real big fan. You, you're not a fan of the waiting. That's what. It, that's what it is. You don't want to wait two, three <laughs> it's, hours it's, for it's, time it don't fiesta. Do, it don't do it for me, bro. You don't like the grease? Okay. No, it don't do it for me. Wow. Wow. The first. 
Yeah, that is the first. Oh. Reggio's is trash, right? It's okay. That's garbage to me. <laughs> it's okay. I ain't, I'm not putting it in my top five or nothing like that, but it's all right. Home run, no home run in? Home run in is good. Uh, that's like that's that's number four. Okay. What, what did yeah. uh, Raimi the artist say? She said bocce's. Who? Raimi the Raimi. What did she say? Oh, they, that's the one with the big slices, like the. the I real think she big did slices. say that. She said bocce's, right? I had never heard. Shout of out that. to Raimi. <laughs> Shout out to Raimi. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, bocce's. No, I don't, I'm not a fan of bocce's. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, when she said bocce's, I'm like, what? <laughs> she said bocce's. Yeah. Was that like, number one? Yeah, it was up. She she said it. I'm like. <laughs> What is this? You might as well say Domino's. Oh, <laughs> uh, but Domino's came up from how they used Dom- to taste. Domino, yeah. They used to, they used to taste like the box. Now it tastes actually decent. <laughs> I'm like not a real. fan of uh, uh, Papa John. Oh, no, 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 Papa John, no. Nah. Mike, you a fan? Papa John's? Nah, I ain't. A, nah. You're only eating Papa John's if that's the only thing around. <laughs> Man, Papa John is like some college shit. Nah, For yeah, real. I can't. I can't. Papa John's, that. Little Caesars, nah. Nah, nah. nah. I can't, I can't mess with none of that. That's a good top three, though. Yeah, that's yeah. a good power ranking. Yeah, yeah. Approved. People sleep on Pequod's, though. I like it. People say it's maybe too burnt, but I, I, that's per- it's like yeah, kind of perfect. Yeah, the, yeah. The edges are yeah. going to look black. But when you, <laughs> when you taste it, it's like, damn, yeah, all right, it's really good. So, yeah, that's, that's like number two for me. What, what What's toppings you got? Sa- sausage? Pause. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you funny. No, I, pepperoni. Yeah, Pequod's uh, is heavy on the pepperoni. Yeah, man. Mm. I sometimes I'm you know feeling something, feeling the way I get um, jalapenos not, on there. You know, sometimes not not a pineapple guy. No, nah, hell no, nah. I can't Ooh. do no pineapples. Some people huh? pineapples do not go on pizza. I'm sorry. Some people do pineapple on pizza. I don't want my pizza take, tasting sweet. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want no sweet pizza. Mike, you've heard of pe- pineapple on pizza, right, Mike? I don't want I don't no like sweet it. I pizza. Like, I like pineapple on pizza. Wow. What's wrong with you, man? Where you, where you from, bro? You from out west, bro? <laughs> bro. <laughs> Do you like pineapple, period, or you hate pineapple? I do like pineapples, but not on my pizza, bro. Oh, this, this, this oh, is a little beef sorry, right here, a little though. tension right here. <laughs> That's crazy, wow. bro. Where, where did you learn that? Where is the first place I had pineapple? I don't know. It might have been home run in. I don't know. Man, no, oh, gee. Why is it a choice everywhere, then? Some people like it. I don't know. What, I don't, what's wrong with y'all people? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing sweet on my pizza at all. You, like, uh, I, you know, I'm, just, I'm good on that. Favorite city to visit? U.S. Let's go U.S. Vegas, probably. Vegas? I Vegas. like Vegas. I mean, I can only stay three days. But Man, yeah, yeah, Vegas you don't want to be there a week. Yeah, Vegas <laughs> only good for I'll, two, three every days. Every time I go, I have a good time. It's always something to do. Do you, you sleep? Know, I try to. Yeah. You know, you got to come back and, like, you know, recharge at the yeah. hotel or whatever. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I always have a good time in Vegas, man. Yeah, Vegas. I don't know why. It's just yeah, Vegas. Vegas is know. Vegas. Yeah, yeah. It's Vegas is Vegas. Vegas is Vegas. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm trying to – I want to go to New York. I ain't never been, I ain't never been to – How's New York? Y'all been to New York? Yeah, I've been to New York a couple times. It's cool. It's it's, it's Chicago. (laughs) Bigger. You know, it's it's dirtier. Pizza's trash. Oh, yeah. Don't get no pizza from New York. Pizza from New York is trash. You probably would kill a pineapple pizza in New York. All right, man. You're going to say that's your favorite pizza ever, man. New York the pizza is in New York is bad. It is bad. It's, it's, it's thin, thin crust. When I go, whenever I visit, I'm not. I, don't, I mean, I might try it, but I don't. I'm Rat, rats look like cats out there. I heard, <laughs> man. They garbage on the outside. I yeah, can't, yeah. I know, I, no alleys. Yeah, right? no I alleys. Mess with it. I can't mess with it. But I want to. I do want to visit Times Square and see what that. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a nice city. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I mean to go visit. Yeah, yeah. I probably wouldn't want to. I don't think I want to live there, but yeah, yeah, it's too it's too crowded. I heard, and yeah. like if you get it like a one bedroom, it's like three thousand for yeah. like this room yeah. right here that we in. It's like man, no like, bathroom, three thousand. Yeah. yeah, I think the thing is now people will just move to Jersey and just yeah. go yeah. go back and forth. Yeah, Jersey is nicer. Yeah, hmm. Um, we'll see one day. I had something else. I really did have something else. Um, oh, we always ask this. We, we, uh, you got a friend from out of town. They come to Chicago. Where are you sending them to, or her, to go eat? Where I'm sending them to go yeah. eat? Yeah. Um, like the hood spots, or like let's just... go with the hood spots. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it. Do, we do one of each. I mean, yeah, you, one of each. Yeah. I, you got to go to home with a hoagie. I was, gonna, I was thinking that home with yeah, a hoagie. Home with a hoagie is you got to get a sweet steak. Um, I, I feel like home with a. <laughs> You said you don't like pizzas. 
<laughs> that's different. That's different from one pineapple on your pizza. You said you don't want it sweet though. But Home you want a hoagie steak? is known for the sweet stuff. Yeah, yeah bro. I know. But I'm saying so what is on? I've never been to Home and Hoagie. What is that? <laughs> you can get like a hoagie sandwich, bro. It's 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 a it's really good like gourmet sandwiches, bro. But it's a sweet steak is what they known for. Yeah. What is, what makes it sweet? What are they putting on it? Is it's, it barbecue sauce? What is it? Oh, bro, it's just the the, the salt. It's the, it's the secret sauce that they put on the steak, bro. It's good. It's sweet. Can, yeah, it's sweet. But I'm saying I'm, it's not on. It's not what I want on my pizza. <laughs> So a sweet sandwich is fine. It, yes, bro. A sweet sandwich is fine. Pause. A sweet sandwich is fine. <laughs> yes. A sweet sandwich Home is fine. I don't think choice. I would want steak that's sweet. <laughs> All right, bro. When we when, one of these days, bro, I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you to get one, bro. You be like, damn, this sweet, this sweet yeah, steak. I, is I still fire. gotta take him to Italian. What else is on there? there? Steak and what else? Oh, what else they put on there, bro? It's, it's cheese. cheese. Yeah. Uh, um, some, some onions, of, right, peppers, yeah. yeah it's what, a bunch of bread. Shit. It's like it's a Philly cheese thing. And the, and the, the bread is kind of like yeah. uh, moist. Pulp. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's a good. It's a I've, good taste I've heard sandwich. the name Home of the Hog. I've never been, so yeah, I'm, yeah, it's it's a great, I'm at to try that. Great tasting sandwich, and then like you know, like of course Harold's, you know. But uh, Harold's, you gotta go to a certain number. Eighty-seven oh. Sangamon. <laughs> or 100, uh, 100, 103rd, yeah, 187th or 103rd. It's crazy that none of the heroes taste the they same. None of them taste the yeah. same. Yeah. Like, What's your favorite one? Uh, I haven't been in a while. I don't know the number. I haven't been in a while. Yeah. I've been to about three or four different ones, and they all taste different. Mike, you yeah. got a number? Uh, you can get 87, but on that 75th, you can do it, but 86 we got going on. Oh, yeah, you're going to be waiting all day. <laughs> yeah, for real. Y'all Uncle Remus fans? Mm, nah, I like I like, I like sauce. Uncle Remus. I like I, they they sauce be hidden, but they chicken just not as good. Yeah, as Yeah, you know. I think it, I think Harold's is better. And, yeah, and the sauce for Her- for Uncle Remus is a little sweeter than. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> a little sweeter than Harold's. Yeah. So you know, I don't know. So, You're a fan of Maxwell's, right? Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta go to Maxwell. Um, you know, uh, right off the one by UIC. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, so yeah. that's 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 a hit. You had that one. You been yeah. There. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you gotta go there. That's good. Like late, drunk, drunk, right? Late night at the late club. night at the club. Yeah, that's you know, so, soak all that liquor up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. That's that's a staple. You know, you gotta get that. Oh so, man. But yeah, it's a bunch of restaurants in Chicago. You, you just gotta try. I mean, I can't even name. Particular one, yeah. But like, is it so? Chicago just got good food in general. Yeah, like everywhere I'm you on go. IG all the time, I see restaurants. Like, yeah, I've never heard this. Man, they, it's a spot. <laughs> it's a spot called Provare. Man, y'all gotta try. I don't know if y'all been there. Mm. It's called Provare, bro. They got some of the best like pasta, seafood that mm. I've had since I've been in Chicago. I've tried. Shout that. out to them. Oh, you know, free promo. Free promo. <laughs> man, man, they yeah. good. <laughs> Has any of your friends from out of town like is the bean overrated? I, I wouldn't. I ain't like. I mean, it, do they I, always be like, "Yo, I want to see no, the bean"? Well, my people who come here, they, I'm, they never say, "Let's go to the bean." <laughs> okay. Like, they, they I, like, I've heard some people do really? that. Like from I mean, out now, of town. Now I heard New York got one. Now they got like a bean. yeah. That, that's crazy. <laughs> they, they trying to copy us. Shark, like, shark everybody, niggas bite. Everybody want to bite Chicago style, man. Like everything we do, people just from everywhere want to bite what we do. You know? Bean is cool to see. Bro. Is it once or twice? After I don't that, think so. It ain't really it no. What you gonna do? Take it's, a, for, you, it's for kids. What you I think do? take kid. a selfie. You finna take a selfie? <laughs> Dude, that shit. Once you see it once, I mean, too. you like, see me right. hands yeah, touching. Yeah, I don't think they clean that either. I don't think they clean that. You shit. gonna have COVID for a year touching <laughs> that thing, bro? I'm like, nah. Yeah, dude. once you see it, you're like, all right, right. You ain't really gotta see it again. Right. Oh my, you know I gotta ask V this two things before before we get off. Two things. You you're known for your great Halloween costumes. Oh wow. <laughs> no, for your great you you was uh why you lying guy you did good on that you was uh you you was your double gang uh Kanye yeah. you, you did that uh and uh we'll edit this and put this out and show um who else you was uh another bad create no another I was, uh, uh, from the guy from Meteor Man Meteor Man yep I was um uh, Golden Lord, the gold, yeah, the Golden Lord, from Media <laughs> Man. Uh, you, you was uh, Chance the Rapper, Chance the Rapper, and I was um, uh, Marlon Wayans from uh, yep. um, what's the name of the movie? Uh, don't, uh, drink don't drink, don't, 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 don't be a menace. menace. Don't be a menace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what's this year? What's this, this upcoming? What, what you got? Or, or you don't want to spoil? I keep it tucked. I keep it tucked because I took I took a year off. 
I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do nothing last year. I mean, yeah, I didn't do nothing. Yeah, last your year. Halloween. Look at look at Von Zell's IG. His Halloween costumes are pretty. I don't know open. why I just decided one year I just want to do something like. Yo, his just, Halloween, your Halloween costume. People always say like, yeah, you do a good job. I don't know, bro. I just one year I just decided to do it and yeah, it, it just like point. took off. Like, like damn, like you, you really. Oh, I was the dude from uh, the, I was the State Street preacher, the preacher. From State Street. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You the got one the who speaker. I was telling you he's going to yep. go to hell. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you going to hell now? Like, I, I don't know why I thought about that. Like, it was just something different. It was some Chicago shit, you know. Uh, it was cool. Uh, you was, um. <laughs> so are you uh, going to parties with these? Yeah, or? I mean, oh, okay. I mean winning. Like, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, like, yo, yo, go, oh, so your purpose is to win no, a, no, a costume contest? No, no. It's just to. I just enjoy dressing up. As creativity. Oh, yeah, creativity. Just showing he's your like, creativity. He's an That's all it is, bro. Oh, yeah. I don't care about, like, you know, if I go to a win a prize. It's just about creativity. Yeah, his, his. Oh, okay. That's all it's about, man. Look but at you ain't I... going to Target and buying a costume. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm just not going to be, like, the <laughs> regular. No, I'm, I want to do something You're not going to be a ninja. <laughs> no, bro. Nah, no, look, at, look, at, look, at Von, look at Von Zell's when IG, I... man. His, his, his costumes are dope. Well, yeah, man. when I was a kid, my, my OG, um, she, used to, she dressed me up as... Um, as a mummy, as Sting the wrestler, mm. the Chucky, the Chucky doll, like I remember oh, wow. all this growing up, mm. like, and I just took it, took it with me as, in my adult years. Like, I'm glad, like, it wasn't corny dressing up mm. when we, yeah. you know, in our adult years. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. that's cool. Let me, you know, I'll, I'll dabble into it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool, man. But I don't know about this year. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it on hold, and I'll keep y'all. Up there, <laughs> you know? We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I might got some of my sleeve. I got I got one last question. My bad, Zeke. One last good question. Can anyone beat you in a footwork battle? Uh, yeah, <laughs> one, one, you funny as hell. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, man. I, I ain't I ain't I ain't that good. But I feel like every Chicago <laughs> should have at least ten seconds of good footwork. Mm. You gotta have ten seconds of good footwork. Any Chicago should you have. You know at least... what footwork is, Zeke? What, oh, what do you God. consider you a be, Chicagoan? You, somebody who been here. And know and know the culture. Mike, like you know how to footwork. Not in the suburbs. I don't know how to footwork. You, if you a suburban, you got to know how to footwork too. They, they footwork out there. <laughs> I, I don't know how to footwork, like, yeah. but I know about it. I, I, I so definitely I, know. Yes, I know what footwork I, is. Uh, yeah. When I was yeah. in high school, you know, I, I wanted. I was just in the basement, just trying to learn how to, how to, how to footwork. <laughs> me. At my grandma's crib, man, like you know, just I don't know. I always was interested in it, but I just never like took it serious. You know, I just mm. do it for fun. You know. Right, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, you just gotta have it in you. you gotta you know? have it. You gotta know. You, but it I just gotta be in it. I ain't that good, but I just try to make myself look good when I do it. You know, <laughs> okay. you know. Yeah. I learn. I got some moves, but no, it ain't. It ain't really crazy like that. You know, I get killed in a real footwork battle against somebody who really know how to footwork. <laughs> I ain't gonna embarrass myself like Challenge. that. Challenge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, not at all, man. Oh, no. know, but man. the part they, you hit, you hear that? Doo, 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 oh, doo, yeah. It's a rap. It's a rap. <laughs> doo, doo, it's a rap. Doo, doo, doo. It's, it's a rap. automatic. You, it's a rap. Okay. That's why you be at the club. You're like, go ahead, Von Zell. I'm like, oh, <laughs> we, we, too, we can't do it right now. It's, it's only certain certain spots. You know, you you know, you could do it. You know, oh, not looking like you know corny or whatever. <laughs> Z, you cool. got anything for V? No, nah, he's answered all my questions. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How can, how can the people reach you on social media if yeah. they want to put you? Oh, oh, you. Oh, my fault. My fault. You got anything else? Any projects? Anything? Um, I have one. Look uh, I got. I got two projects coming out. Uh, one is called Black Cats. Uh, shout out to Mark Harris. Um, that's coming out soon. Uh, it's about. It's a Chicago thriller about corruption and the politics within Chicago. Uh, uh, that'll heavy, be on heavy. some streaming platforms soon. And I'm also playing in a um, a um, Batman fan film, and I'm playing the mayor in this in this fan film. Okay, you know, so that's coming out. And as far as everything else, I've just been you know auditioning and waiting for something to happen. Oh, dope, dope. Mm -hmm. tell people where they can reach you. Man. You can reach me on Instagram at Von Dimitri and uh, Facebook Von Zell Scott is my name. So y'all can reach me there. Yes, sir. Man, we appreciate okay. you coming on. Thank appreciate y'all for having me, man. This is Much dope. success. We yes, already sir. know we're going to see you in bright lights, neon oh, yeah. lights, all yes, that. Sir. You know, yes, red sir. carpet affair. Yes, sir. So we appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yep, yep. Appreciate y'all. Sports Life and Hip Hop. Von Zell. What's going on? I'm Von Zell Scott. I'm rocking with Win Bosses Link. Woo, woo. <laughs>